Hello everyone, it's Christy Russell from Movers and Shakers Music and welcome back to another music and story time. How's your day been so far? How's your week been? Have you been at um, kindergarten or preschool or maybe you've been at your daycare centre or maybe you've been hanging out at home with your favourite adult. Well, today's story is a beautiful story. It's an Australian lullaby kind of story. And it's a beautiful story to have just before your nap time, if you're still having a daytime nap, and even before bedtime at night. I wonder if you read books before bedtime. I find it's a beautiful way to get ready, get your body nice and calm and relaxed, get snug in your bed. It's a really nice way to calm down and wind down from a busy day. Today I've got my gorgeous little friend Laura. Oh, this is my special doll from when I was a little girl. I was seven when I got Laura, so she's very old now. And she's going to help us read this beautiful Australian story called Snug as a Hug by Marsha Vaughan and Pamela Loss. And they wrote that awesome Australian story called Wombat Stew, which I'll do another time for you. But before we get into our story, can you help me tune up the ukulele? Hmm, yeah. Remember, a ukulele is like a small guitar. But something that's really different about the ukulele is that it only has four strings, whereas a guitar has six strings. So we've got more notes and sounds to choose from. Let's count them before we start. Are you ready? One, two, three, four. Good job. You might be four, I wonder. And we're going to look up here at the tuner. I've got my tuner to help me as I pluck the string. I would love your help. Oh, turn it on properly. I would love your help to tell me, can you see when it goes green? So at the moment, oh, at the moment it doesn't want to play with me. Hang on a sec. Let me do this. Oh. It's not working. It was working before, but do you know what? I'm going to take it off at the moment and we're going to tune up with the piano. No problemo. We've always got a, a plan B. So my sound here, this is the same sound as if I play a G on the piano. This particular G. Now, they're a little bit different. They need to be the same though. So I, as I pluck and I play, with that oh that's better that's lovely it's almost like they blend together let's have a look at the next string which gives us the C note C oh they sound really good and then we'll go to an E string mine's a little bit out I'm going to follow up my E string up to this tuning peg and turn it just a little bit. No, I've got to go down a little bit. Oh, that's better. And my last string is, a, is an A. They sound really good together. We are in tune. And that means that the sounds will hit our ears and create beautiful melodies. I need your help. Can you help me keep the beat? We're going to pat the beat on our knees today. Where are your knees? One, two, three, four. Keep it going for me. so that I'm not wobbling around as I show you. Oh, look at the little 
bugs. Ooh. Snug, hug, bug. We just found some rhyming words. Snug as a hug, an Australian lullaby. Joey is sleeping curled up in mummy's pouch. <gasps> Beautiful baby kangaroo. And koala is resting on a limb like a couch. <gasps> oh, that's cosy. Turtle is dreaming far out in the sea. Hmm. And cockatoo is yawning high up in a tree. Spider lies still on the threads of a web. Isn't that beautiful, intricate? And Bowerbird slumbers on a fancy blue bed. Lizard is listening to the lullaby breeze. And Bandicoot snug as a hug in the leaves. Echidna is rolled up in a prickly and round. <laughs> and Dingo is dozing on cool moonlit ground. <sighs> Possum is snoozing safe in the glen. And Numbat nods off in a dark secret den. Dolphin is napping, rocked by a wave. Can you rock back and forth gently? Hmm. And fruit bats are huddled up outside the cave. <gasps> Look, they're upside down. Wombat is snuggled in a burrow down deep. And outside, the animals are all sound asleep. <gasps> Not quite the owl, though. The owl stays awake at night watching over. Now let wonderful dreams float through your head as you drift off sleep in your warm, comfy bed. I'll stay close by all through the night, so sleep well, my small one. I love you, I love you, I love you. Sleep tight. <laughs>
listening to them. Let's join in. Inna ne kapuana, inna ne kapuana, e ula, ula ula, ula e ipie ipie. Guana 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 gua, chu. Guana 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 gua. <laughs> you could do a little peekaboo with that one. It's lots of fun. Do you want to try that one again? I'm going to play it on the ukulele this time. But you, if like I said, if you've got a young baby, this is beautiful to face your baby and sing along. And you might like to gently touch parts of their body, their shoulders, or hold their hands and gently move in time to the music. And it's a lovely thing to do when we get to that part where we go choo. You could go choo like this, or you could cover your eyes and choo, because young babies and young children love that kind of peekaboo, don't they? In We've got a fish called a barramundi and for the fish action you can use your hand like this barramundi barramundi and we've got a cockatoo which we can use our hands like this because our cockatoos in australia sometimes have a, a crest like a sulfur crested or a major mitchell cockatoo so we've got barramundi barramundi cockatoo Cockatoo. And then the next part is an emu. And an emu is an animal with a long neck. So we're going to stretch out our neck and put our hand like this so that this represents the emu and this is the long neck. We have an emu and then we have a koala. And we're going to make a koala like this. So we've got emu and koala because it's cuddly. Emu and koala. And then our last one is a kangaroo. So we're going to put our hands like this and you can hop around like a kangaroo. Kangaroo. Oh, I'm right up in the screen, aren't I? Kangaroo. Let's do it together, ready? Barramundi, barramundi, cockatoo, cockatoo. Emu and koala, emu and koala, kangaroo, kangaroo. Let's do that one one more time. This is so much fun. Ready? Barramundi, barramundi, cockatoo, cockatoo. Emu and koala, emu and koala, kangaroo, kangaroo. Oh, that was so much fun. Thank you so much for joining in. I wonder if you know some other songs that you'd like to do after this. Maybe you want to go outside and see if you can find some other animals and you could pretend to be like them. What do you think, Laura? Is it time for our goodbye song? I think so. Oh, thanks for joining us, Laura. Would you like to help me with here? Okay. So we can do keep the beat on our knees again. It's really important to be able to keep a strong and steady beat. And if you're a little person, you can practice this all the time and you'll get better and better at it. One, two, three. to lie.
like and subscribe to the playlist and share it around so that more children and grown-ups can join in the musical fun. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you next time.